Bob Haas here with Haas Golf 180. I want to give you a little pearls of wisdom in regarding to the inversion of your angles through the delivery zone. So remember, my chart right here shows you all the answers in the golf swing that you need to know from a kinesthetic point, but I'm going to uh, show you a chart on that in just a brief moment. But uh, angle inversion in the delivery zone, there's uh, some things that happen in the delivery zone that you need to be aware of. Uh, single line is radial geometry, two line is going to be tangent geometry. And you can use either or, but I advise using tangent plane geometry when you swing the golf club. What I want you to notice here is notice how the handle is a little bit lower right in here. As we make a 90 degree rotation with the hands and hang on to it, I want you to know how the angle's higher here, lower here, higher here. So when we uh, use tangent plane geometry, we're coming off the radial geometry and changing it to tangent plane, which actually inverts the angle. So this angle inversion is largely responsible for top of the players getting on their toes. Uh, the bowing of the left wrist, and the left arm bending coming through the impact area. The reason being is this angle is getting higher because it begins here, and as we hang on to it, it actually comes through a little bit higher here. So here's how it goes down from the kinematic standpoint. So when we get uh, up to the uh, golf ball, I want you to notice here, we have a straight line right here that's radial geometry. So that means that's a radius. So if you take a look at racing bicycles, sometimes they put a radial wheel on the front wheel because it's faster. So you can use radial geometry if you want to hit the golf ball further. The problem with radial geometry is it's unstable. Therefore, you may be able to hit the ball further, but you'll be all over the place. Now these two lines right here are actually tangent geometry. You can see they come in at an angle like your spokes going into the hub of a wheel on a bicycle, you'll notice they come at an angle. That's going to be tangent geometry. So we actually have three different lines right here, and they're going to uh, be inverted, but you have a fourth one if this becomes straight. Allow me to demonstrate here with a visual aid. So I'm going to bring uh, my visual aid in right here. So when we get set to the golf ball, we actually have an angle that looks like this, this being the arms, this being the shaft of the golf club. Clearly there's two lines there. If this becomes inverted, so this is an inversion happening, if this becomes inverted, it's going to look like that. You can still see the shaft of the club and be able to get to the bottom of the golf ball. If we invert this back in this direction, uh, so that we went through the inversion, now that's an inverted angle. There's one, two, now, if we actually stand in the front right here, I want you to notice a 45 degree inversion, or actually this is a 90 degree inversion, gives you the forward shaft lean. That's the late hit, the forward shaft lean right there. If this inverts back in this direction right over here, this is inverted from this position right here. So there's an inversion happening. So this is a 90 degree inversion with the angle at address between the arms and the shaft of the golf club. And of course, we always can have a straight line, and this would be rather impossible, but if you were to invert that, it would look like this. Bring this back over here. So there's one position. If we, we actually begin here. Again, this is going to be radial geometry. When the inversion happened, it turns into tangent geometry. This rises the hands, and moves the hands further to the left at impact. So it's almost like we're terraforming the position we impact the golf ball. When we begin, we're in this direction, but when we strike the golf ball, we're over here in this position. So you can see this will be a few inches over in this direction and a little bit higher from where you began. So if you're using tangent plane geometry, you're gonna to have to commit yourself to hanging onto the shaft on the follow through to maintain that inversion. So again, from straight on now, right here, we're rotating 90 degrees on the back swing, hanging on to it. So we're folding, hanging, folding, hanging. Now you can actually rotate back and through if you want to, which is actually radial geometry, but you're gonna be a loose cannon. So if we get the club in the slot, there's the slot right there. Rotate 90 degrees, hang on to it. 
Rotate 90 degrees, hang on to it. Hope you enjoyed this. Hope this is informative.